Hello guys, this is Anish Kinjaya with another tutorial and as you can see I have been uh, I made this rig over here. I'm not putting the download because this is my new animation I'm working on. And this animation I've been working on for about a month now or maybe a few more. And it's with a group of people and I haven't mentioned anything about it just yet because I want to keep it secret. But people have been asking me how come you don't make animations and stuff like that so I just thought I'll show you this rig I've made um, and the tutorial is on how to make items disappear like I did in my rig. So I had a, I added a cape simulation here. I used a belt to do that uh, and yeah so I'll get the item tutorial. So let's get an item. Mm. Give it to items and let's go and get a pickaxe probably. Um, okay, rotate it around correctly. Hold shift. Wait. Ah, oh, that's not rotated correctly. Okay, let's get an axe. And that's not right. Okay, a sword. Okay, this is good. Um, mm, 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 hold shift. Actually, let's go into the move tool. Three point one two five. Move this correctly and rotate it. And position it. And okay, that's about right, I think. Okay, so um, now we need to add the constraints. So let's go find the 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 the, 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 the right arm. So this point over here, and let's go to the diamond sword and add a constraint, which is here. Right click and get it. And then go into your constraint and get a make it a generator and a PSR. Go into the PSR and drag your right the the point over there and drag it in here. Oh, actually, I forgot. We need to put it in a null. So delete that and make it uh, put it in null. Oh, right click and oops, um, right click and group objects just that and you should have it in here and name it items and you want to put all the items in here and just add the constraint onto this items and you would also add your user data onto these items so I'll get to that quickly uh, so make this a PSR grab oh, generator and grab in that and now we want to position it correctly. So go to the offset and rotate it 90 degrees. And rotate this like 40, oops, 45. And move the X, oops, Y, and the X, Z. Mm, adjust the Y. Okay, um, so now when we move the arm, it should move along with it. Yeah, like that. And to move the sword and stuff, you just have to rotate the, sorry, just rotate it like that. Oh, we need to move the now, uh, so click on this. Uh, we need to move the point, so move it to the place you like so say the um, like about here or something oh my god this is impossible okay right about there uh, so now when you rotate it it should rotate around that axis uh, okay so now we have that so go into diamonds well, let's see what else they have to do uh, that's about it. Now we need to add the user data. So go into items 
add user data. I'll name this forward. Make sure you have items selected and then go and make your user data and make it a, a boolean and I like bitmap bool and now let's make it expresso it's pretty onto items you open it up drag your items inside expresso um sword actually just grab grab the null inside not the items now grab your diamond sword and right click and new node expresso bool not and then get you know, the knot is like it um it's like in minecraft the knot <laughs> not get it like inverts it kind of uh yeah it inverts so let's get visible in render right click here and visible in editor so just grab both of them here and just put, uh, put it onto the user data so now it should be dis it should disappear and when you click on this go to the click on the item go to user data and you should have it here and yeah so we have that and you can do the same for bodies ex uh, for armor but you need to bind the armor to the mesh uh, to the bones and then you can do it but uh, this is how you basically make it like that and that's what I did for my thing and when I on my walk simulation he's like walking already with this board pretty nice and let me show you the cape let's make him walk in a line oh that happens when it's, it's a bit glitchy so yeah cape looks awesome <laughs> and yeah so stay tuned for the animation I'm not going to mention anything about it just yet uh, and yeah so thanks for watching bye